Hello everyone. So today we're going to look at a quick question from inverse trigonometric function that is ITF. Now the question is find the set of values of x for which the given inequality is satisfying. Now the given inequality is see the big bracket is given as greatest integer function of x that is gif of x. Now it is given as the inequality is gif of sin inverse of x is greater than gif of cos inverse of x. So we have to find the value of x for which this inequality is satisfied. So feel free to pause the video and try this problem. I'm going to solve this question in the next slide. Now our question is, we have to calculate the value of x for which this inequality is satisfied. The given inequality is gif of sin inverse of x is greater than gif of cos inverse of x. Now the first thing comes in my mind is how to approach this question. The first thing comes is I can put the value of x for which this given inequality will satisfy. But that is one of the possible values of x. Maybe infinite values of x are possible. So I cannot go randomly put the value of x and I'll satisfy the equation because maybe it's possible that infinite value exists. So how to tackle this kind of problems? You have to tackle with range. So let's write the range of sine inverse of x. So range of sine inverse of x is from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. And what they are doing? They are taking the gif of this whole range. So I, again, I'm taking the gif of whole range because it's given in the inequality. Now it is greater than, again, I'm going to write the range of cos inverse of x that is from 0 to pi and gif of this values. Now let's, let's estimate these values. Okay. Once we take the gif, before taking the gif, let's estimate these values. So pi by 2 is nearly approximately, you can say 1.57. So we have a value from minus 1.57 to plus 1.57 and we are taking the gif of this range of values of x. We'll get integers in the end I'm going to write and it is greater than uh, gif of this values that is from 0 to pi is 3.14 approximately. Now if I take gif here I'll get this. Now gif of a value which is equal to minus 1.57 so we'll get set of values so I'm going to write the set of values which is present in this range that is minus 2 first minus 1 0 1 and as you can see, 2 is not possible. So up to 1 is possible. So this all integers are possible within the given range. Is greater than. Now I'll write the gif of a value which, which is varying from 0 to 3.14. That is clearly 0, 1, 2, 3. More than 3 it's not possible because gif of 3.14 is 3. Now I have to select for what value of x. The, what is the value of sin inverse of x and what will be the value of gif of sin inverse of x. Now what here the values represents the value of gif of sin inverse of x. So let's take minus 2 for an instance. Okay. The gif of sin inverse of x is equal to minus 2 for, for a moment. Similarly, I have to select the value of cos inverse of x. So let's examine is this value is possible or not first of all because many combinations are possible but will reject the combinations. So first I'm going to take minus 2 here. So if I take minus 2 here is minus 2 is greater than any value which is present on the right hand side? No. So I'm going to directly reject the value minus 2. Similarly, I'm going to accept the value minus 1. For example, for let's say it is accepted. So minus 1, is there any value on the right hand side which is greater than minus 1? No. So again, I'm going to reject this. Now let's say 0 is our solution. So 0 is greater than 0. It's not possible because the minimum number is 0 here. So this value is also rejected. Only one value will be possible here. As you can see, 1 is only the value which is possible here. Because the moment you take the value of gif of sin inverse of x is 1, on the right hand side, only one value is possible of gif of cos inverse of x. So there will be only one combination. Now the combination is, I'll write here, that is gif of sin inverse of x should be equal to 1. And at the same moment, the value of gif of cos inverse of x should be equal to 0 at the same time. So there is an and in between. Okay, this condition and this condition must satisfy simultaneously in order to satisfy this given inequality. Now in the next slide, using these two, I'm going to calculate the value of x for which this given inequality. Is. Now in order to satisfy the given inequality, our x must be such that gif of sin inverse of x should be equal to 1 and at the same time gif of cos inverse of x is equal to 0. So let's solve this. So if I remove the gif here, then the value of sin inverse of x should be from 1 2 as you can see maximum is pi by 2 I can take the because the range of sin inverse of x is from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and similarly cos inverse of x the value of cos inverse of x should be from 0 close to 1 open and it cannot be 1 close because it can be 1 
so it is one open now if i take sine on both sides and sine on, sine inverse of x is an increasing function so inequality will not change here so if i take here sine on both sides i'll get this as sine 1 is less than equal to x and is less than equal to sine pi by 2 is 1 here so i got the first condition x must be close interval from sine 1 to 1 similarly here if i take cos on both sides then inequality will reverse because cos inverse is a decreasing function so i'll get this as cos of 1 on this side it is less than x and it is less than or equal to cos of 0 is 1 so i have to solve this intersection of these two conditions because these two conditions should satisfy simultaneously okay so i'll draw a number line here now one of the values is 1 i'll write here now sine 1 and cos 1 obviously are less than 1 okay now i have to decide which one is greater and which one is smaller value for that i am going to draw the graph of sine of x and cos of x now it's very easy to determine which one is greater than which one is lesser than now one radian is approximately equal to 57 degrees okay 57 degrees so i'll use this because this is sine of one radian and this is cos of one radian here now graph of sine of x is something like this and graph of graph of cos of x is something like this in the first quadrant as you can see so after 45 degree you observe one thing after 45 degree cos of x is below than sine of x that means sine of sine of one radian will be greater than cos of one radian obviously so sine of one radian will come here and similarly cos of one radian will be here now i'm going to show you the area bounded by these two inequalities so one is saying i'm from one x is saying i'm from sine one to one that is from sine one to one and one inequality is saying i'm from cos one to one so this is open here up to here now if i take the intersection of these two conditions so intersection will be our answer intersection is this area now our final answer will be x belongs to as you can see these two intervals are both are closed so our final answer will be x belongs to sine one radian to one closed and that will be all